Hi, it's Patrick with E38. In this video, we're going to use our L2 point cloud to create a ground surface model in PIX4D survey. If you haven't seen either of our L2 walkthroughs, you can start there to see how we got to this point. We'll start by dropping in our L2 LAS that we exported from Terra and click start. Survey will then have us confirm the coordinate system and vertical model we are using with our data. In our case, we are using Geoid 18. Then click apply and the point cloud will be imported. Once the point cloud is populated, it will open up in our layers tab where we can see everything that we will generate. As you can see, we don't have any points classified, so that's where we'll start. We'll click on the Processes tab and go down the list, starting by removing any major outliers in the data. Then we can decide our sample distance, rigidity, and above ground threshold for classifying our terrain. I'm just going to leave the defaults here. Once we click Filter Terrain, in a moment we'll see Survey has pretty accurately identified the ground points from non-ground points. If we hop back to the Layers tab, you can see all of the previously unclassified points are now classified. We can also toggle visibility of the different classes of points. If we weren't happy with the classifications, we can adjust our settings there and filter the terrain again. It looks good there, so we'll then create our grid of points. Again, I'm going to leave the defaults here. With the grid of points created, we can now generate our tin. With no adjustments to the defaults, we have a decent surface model. I'm also going to add contours and view all of the layers we have created. If we're happy with everything, we can click the menu next to whatever we want to export, and that will bring us to the Exports tab where we can determine the file types and destination folder to export to. And just like that, we have our tin exported as a land XML file. We have the option of fine tuning the data as well. In the settings tab, we can adjust our views and things like our point size and backgrounds. We can also utilize the tools in the top toolbar to correct spots in our data or measure things like volume and distance. This has been Patrick with E38 Survey Solutions. Thanks for watching.